CBD is a hot term you've heard a lot about and how it helps people stay calm, recover from hitting the gym, and even eases everyday stressors. It's also everywhere, from spas, grocery stores, and even your corner gas station. And it's in everything, like bath bombs, baked goods, sparkling drinks, and even leggings. Yes, leggings. But what exactly is this three-letter thing you hear so much about? A mysterious plant thought to have medicinal powers. We're in the midst of a CBD oil boom. The product's popping up everywhere. Let's get into the science of it to help you understand more about this powerful component. You might be surprised to learn that CBD is just one of the active compounds found in hemp. CBD is short for cannabidiol. Cannabidiol is a cannabinoid. There are more than 80 cannabinoids found in hemp, but CBD happens to be the popular one these days. There's CBGA, CBL, CBC, CBN, CBG, and even THC, which you might be familiar with as being the molecule that can get you intoxicated from its cousin, marijuana. However, in hemp, these THC levels are very, very minute. The hemp varieties we have and that we breed here at Charlotte's Web have very elevated levels of CBD that provides all the health benefits of that. Wait, what are the health benefits of CBD? It can help to navigate everyday stresses, support a sense of calm, and support recovery from exercise-induced inflammation. Where do we find cannabinoids like CBD? So, these molecules, it's pretty incredible how they're made. There's these glandular cells on the surface of flowers that secrete these phytochemicals into things called trichomes. And these trichomes are structures that store all of these molecules together, along with molecules like flavonoids and terpenes, and they create this rich brew of what we would call a phytochemical profile. And so flavonoids and terpenes, uh, you might not be familiar with the terms, but we're actually very familiar with them in everyday life. So these are the things that make blueberries blue or strawberries have that really known fragrance that we love in summertime. These are all, you know, terpenes and flavonoids working together to make these plants uh, the cool things that we know them to be. Hemp is very similar. It has phytocannabinoids, which are unique to the cannabis family, as well as terpenes and flavonoids. Scientists found that all these plant compounds work together synergistically, rather than alone. When they work together, the result produces a better effect within the body. This is called the entourage effect. This means that CBD and all those other great compounds can support the body more fully than if you were just taking CBD by itself. So, how does CBD, other cannabinoids, and plant compounds work in the body? through something called the endocannabinoid system, or ECS for short. We let one of our experts, Jen, better explain. So we have ECS receptors throughout our entire body. We have them in our brain. We have them in our spinal cord. They're in our organs, and they're even in our skin. The ECS is a physiological system. It intersects with all the other systems in the body, like the cardiovascular system and the endocrine system. And cannabinoids are the chemical compounds that bind to these receptors of the endocannabinoid system. And as a result, this helps give our body balance throughout. Did you know? This is the really cool part. Our bodies actually make cannabinoids and they're called endocannabinoids. But we can also get them from a plant extract like hemp and then they're called phytocannabinoids. And these two compounds are very similar structures that both bind to different receptors in the body. Either way, both forms of these cannabinoids work on the same receptors of the endocannabinoid system. And it really helps our body go into balance, or as we call, homeostasis. To better understand the concept of how cannabinoids work in the body, think of vitamin D. We have vitamin D receptors located in every tissue in the body. It's a nutrient the body requires for optimal wellness. Our body can produce its own vitamin D by absorbing the sun's rays and converting this sun to this essential nutrient. Or we can get vitamin D by consuming foods such as eggs or fish, or by taking a vitamin D supplement. Like vitamin D, humans make their own cannabinoids, or we can get them from an outside source, such as hemp. So as a naturopathic doctor, to me, this means that the mere fact that we have these receptors for cannabinoids in our body is just proof that we need cannabinoids, whether we make them or we get them from plants. CBD and all these other plant compounds from hemp are pretty amazing. They support our health and the healthy balance of the ECS in many ways. There's so much more to learn about this powerful plant we call hemp and how it can improve your life. 
be sure to check back next week. And until then, keep searching for answers. Subscribe to Charlotte's Web on YouTube to learn more. Have other questions about CBD? Ask below in the comment section.